Hey, good news, everybody. The snow plows have broken through. It won't be long before we can all go home. Isn't that great? Fantastic. I can't wait to get back to Harmony so my mom can take a look at my leg. Did you see Charity and Miguel at the Speed Lodge? Are they okay? They're okay now. Thank God they made it through the avalanche. They were shaken up, but they're all right. Where's Kay? Uh, she went back to Harmony with Miguel and Charity. Is everything okay here? Oh, everything's fine. No one in the house has a problem except Whitney. What's that all about? I don't know, but I think I better find out. I could just... I, I could just kill her. What is the matter with you? Just go away, Teresa, all right? No. Not until you tell me what's going on. It's just so completely maddening. <laughs> you don't even understand. What is? Talk to me, Whitney. When Simone first got here, when she got here with Kay, what happened? She saw me with Chad. Simone saw you with Chad? Doing what? I fell, Teresa. That's it, okay? Chad carried me to the bed, but Simone was outside the window and just completely misunderstood. She actually believes that something went on up here between me and Chad, you know? It's crazy. And? And what? Is Simone right? is going on between me and Chad, okay? Nothing. Then why was Simone so upset? Because she completely misread the entire situation and went crazy with jealousy, that's why. I know that she has a crush on him. Yeah, a huge crush. What about you? What about me? Do you have feelings for Chad? Are you crazy? I... Are you telling me that you didn't have a good time with Chad while we were stranded here? No. Come on, Whitney. I saw the way you were with him. You told me you even sang a song to him. I mean, that was a real moment. Yeah, well, you're wrong. This is becoming a pattern with you, Whit. Oh, here we go. A little down-home psychology courtesy of Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. All I am saying is that you're afraid to admit your feelings. I should have never let you take that psych course. You've never allowed yourself to have fun with a guy, and now that you have, you're, you're, you're trying to block it out. Why? I mean, do you think if you allow yourself feelings that, that your arm will just fall off and you'll never play tennis again? Wit, Chad is a great guy, and I know you like him. Okay, Teresa, I'm going to tell you this one last time, okay? I could never fall for Chad. I personally don't even like the guy. I mean, he's totally conceited. He doesn't even need anyone to fall for him because he's already fallen for himself. You've got it bad. Excuse me? You are protesting way too much, Whitney. Which can only mean one thing. It means exactly what I said. And stop trying to twist everything around, okay? But the signs are so obvious. Yeah, I'm really getting ready to give you a sign. Like being jealous at seeing Chad with someone else? Especially your own sister. You're my best friend, Teresa, but you are really getting on my nerves. But wouldn't it be wonderful if Chad felt the same way? I mean, then, then the four of us, Ethan and I, you and Chad, we could all go away again. The four of us in some cozy, romantic place. Wouldn't that be just perfect? I thought you said you had given up on Ethan. I was. But then I realized I was wrong to have given up. Ethan told me something when we were at the ski lodge before. He said that that love was so fickle that until a person married, anything could happen. Oh, Teresa, I know he was talking about himself and Gwen. He had to have been. You know what you're like? You are like a clown punching bag. You get hit and you just come right on back for more. <laughs> I can't help it, Whitney. I love Ethan. And I always will. And now, you know how it feels. I do, huh? Sure. Now that you've finally fallen in love with Chad.
You lied to me, Whitney. You want check for yourself. Lied, Whitney. Simone, keep your voice down. You okay? do have feelings for him. That's why you got so upset Lo seeing me make the promise for him. I'm going to tell you this one last time. I do not have feelings for Chad. Teresa over here was just making it up, right? Is that true? Did you make it up? If Whitney says she doesn't have any feelings for Chad, then we have to believe her. Right, Whit? You're not saying anything, Whitney. Have you fallen for Chad? Believe me, Simone. There can never be anything between me and Chad. There can never be anything between me and Chad. We come from two totally different worlds. He, he doesn't even know the meaning of the word family. And family means everything to me. I am my mother's daughter through and through. And I'm not? You're the one doing the accusing here, Simone. I am simply defending myself. I don't fool around. And I am proud of the fact that I am a goody two-shoes, just like Mom was when she was our age. And I'm not about to let a guy like Chad, who thinks he is God's gift to women, interfere with my life and ruin my career. When the time is right, when I want someone in my life, it's going to be someone rock solid like Daddy. <laughs> not someone like Chad, who has zero goals and no future. Chad Harris is the last person in this world I would ever think about falling for. <clears throat> Chad, Chad, I'm sorry you had to hear that, but ignore her. Whitney is always saying awful things like that. I want you to know that I do not feel that way. Not at all.